Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadharia and today we are going to study about how to prove that root 5 is an irrational number. So let me divide this into two parts and let me start. First of all, you should know the proper definition of irrational number. Actually, we don't have any proper definition for irrational number, but we can say the number which are not rational are irrational number. So here we are going to use that. Directly, we cannot prove any term as irrational number. So here directly, we cannot prove that this term is irrational number. So what we are going to do guys? First of all, we are going to suppose this as a rational number and then we are going to find out some mistakes in that. In that, we are going to find out some mistake. So we can say that that number is not rational. And if that number is not rational, obviously that number will be irrational number. So let us start the solution. Suppose root 5 is a rational number and if root 5 is a rational number, what we can say, we can represent root 5 in the form of a by b or p by q. So I am writing a and p instead of p by q, I am writing a and no problem if you want to write down p by q then also it's okay. But here you need to keep this in mind where A and B are co-prime numbers. What are co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers are numbers or pair of number in which they don't have any common factor except one. So here they don't have any common factor except one. So they are this two are A and B are co-prime numbers. Okay. Now take we want to remove this root. So take this b here. So root 5 b equals to a. Now I want to remove this root. So squaring both the side. Squaring both side. So root 5 square root 5 b whole square equals to a whole square. So here you will get 5 b square equals to a square. Now you can see one theorem is also there before this, but directly also you can clarify or justify that look here equals to sign is there between this two terms and phi is on left hand side. So obviously one phi will be there because these are in product form guys. So obviously one phi is also there in A. So you can say it, therefore here phi is there. So you can say that A square is divisible. by 5. If you want to take it here also b square is equals to a square by 5 then also you will get the same thing that a square is divisible by 5 therefore this you can say by theorem therefore if a square is divisible by 5 can I write a is also divisible by 5. Take it as result number 1. So a is divisible by 5. Now what you need to do? a is divisible by 5 means you are having some phi in this a. So can you suppose, suppose a is equals to 5 and the remaining term as c. Factors of a will be 5 into c. Whatever remaining term is there, I had taken that as c. And suppose that a is equals to 5c. Here students are making mistakes. So guys, please keep this in mind. We are having some phi in this a. So I had elaborated this a as phi into c. Now keep this value in this. 5c on the place of a. So phi b squared equals to on the place of a, phi c whole square. So what will happen? Phi b square is equals to. 25c square. Now let me write down some part here. You can say b square is equals to 25c square by 5. So this will get cancelled and you will get b square is equals to 5c square. Again, again you can see phi is on right hand side and b square is here. So can you write therefore same way 
here b was on lhs side so we had taken it a square is divisible by phi here also if you want to take this phi in the denominator b square by phi is equals to c square then also it's okay so you can say that b square is divisible by phi and therefore b square is divisible by phi so can you say b is also divisible by phi take it as result number 2 you can see guys one is telling that a is divisible by phi two is telling b is divisible by phi so from one and two what you can say from one and two we can say that a and b sorry a and b is having common factor is having common factor 5 factor 5 which contradict which contradict that a and b were co prime which contradict that a and b were co prime as we had earlier suppose that these two numbers are co prime but here we are getting common factors so one contradiction right we had suppose something else and we got something else so this contradiction you need to write down a statement guys so this contradiction has arisen due to our due to our incorrect supposition or assumption incorrect assumption that root phi is rational that what we had supposed that root phi is rational that is incorrect root phi is rational that is incorrect so if root phi is not rational what you can say therefore you can say that root phi is an irrational number guys this way we can prove any number irrational you can say root 2 root 3 or root 7 every term as irrational with this method guys thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on anacademy guys in four step you need to follow on follow me on anacademy just download the app register with your mobile number and select the goal j w e neat foundation ntsc and use my code galaxy coaching which you can see this is the referral code that you need to use guys for free classes also you need to use this referral code thank you so much for watching my video thank you